morning everyone another lockdown vlog welcome back it's monday morning i just got out of the shower and i thought i would start off another vlog today because why not it's such a beautiful day today the last two days the whole weekend basically it was really rainy and overcast and i mean there's still quite a lot of clouds out and about today but it's such nice day today it's so warm i went for such a nice long walk this morning um and had coffee and it's just been a really nice um kind of slow morning today but yeah but i thought i would vlog for the next few days maybe today and tomorrow so you guys can just see kind of like another few days in my life lockdown edition today obviously we're having a little bit of a work from home day hence the slick bun the comfy clothes i have some very very exciting apartment updates to give you guys um so i will go and show you them in a second because i've been working hard all weekend doing the office which i finished basically finished yesterday and i'm so so happy with how it's turned out i think it looks um i think it looks really really good so hopefully you guys like it as well but yeah it makes me so happy walking in now and having my own office space apart from that everything else is pretty much the same you guys have seen there's nothing really new to update you guys on out here i'm thinking i will do a small table and chairs for this spot but that's going to be a later problem right now i don't need it so i'm just going to hold off and see kind of like how i'm feeling in the space but i think i will eventually get that um, when i find something that i love oh also another update as well is i actually finally changed over the curtains in here which is really exciting i've had the best night's sleeps the past two nights since having these darker curtains which blocks out the really intense light out here so so yeah i'm really happy with that these are just from ikea they were honestly really cheap and they're probably not the nicest curtains ever but they do the job and i think they look really nice in here anyway so yeah this is the new so these are the new curtains in my bedroom everything else is still the same in here i do need to hang these two prints up eventually um but i will do that probably this week if not next just thought i would put them there to give you guys like the vibe in this room it's all very neutral it's all very sorry if you can hear the <laughs> my washing machine in the background um but it's all very neutral and calm energy in here i wanted my room to be like really minimal very relaxing i just want it to be very zen which i think it is yeah these are the two prints that are going up in this room they're from my old bedroom as well you guys have seen these before and they're from the same company that um has done all of the office prints which is desenio but i'll show you guys more in a second okay everyone we now have the new and improved office space. This is just such a dream space of mine. You guys can see that I put the sheer curtains on here, which looks 10 times better. I also replaced the old white rod with the black one so it matches. That's my washing machine. Um, anyways, I think I overfilled it too much, but anyway. So as you guys can see, we have my desk set up properly. We've got the prints on the wall and I'm just so happy with how this looks. So the prints are actually from Desenio. If you guys have been watching me for a long time, you'd probably would have heard this brand before. I've mentioned them a few times, but they're basically the brand where I get all of my prints from that I always have hanging up in my apartment. It's where I also got the end symbol here. Um, but yeah, these are both from Desenio and I just love the vibe in here. It's very New York City inspired, um, which is we've got a print of Soho. And then we also have a print from the iconic Audrey Hepburn, which is from Breakfast at Tiffany's. If you guys don't know that movie <laughs> you really should go watch it it's like one of my favorite movies of all time so yeah this is just very on brand for 23rd of madison which is what i really wanted to make the whole vibe of this room just feel like it's a really um i guess just feel like it really is the aesthetic of the brand if you guys are interested i will leave a link and all of the information in the description box down below i'm obsessed with how these like uh photograph prints look but you can also do line art like these ones um, and the ones in my bedroom. And then I also had this letter M, which I thought was cool. And then there's also some abstract art you can get, which I thought was really nice as well. So, yeah, there's definitely different types of styles. of so you can get photographs, you can do color as well. It's not just black and white. Um, I just did black and white because I thought it was on brand for 23rd. But you can get colored photographs. So, I'll leave all of the information in the description box down below if you guys are interested. Moving on, we have my desk. This desk is from Temple and Webster and so is the desk chair. This is a Palm Beach brown sugar scented candle. It honestly smells unreal. I'm eventually going to get the eye desktop I think in this drawer I'm going to put away basically all like office things that I need to have stored away we've just got some packages up the top there that came this morning that I need to unbox um, printer 
anyways that's boring so yeah so i've got black accents in this room now i also moved these two racks in this corner here so they just take up a little bit less space stacked like this rather than lay lined up against the back wall then moving around we have the armchair here which i actually really like having this here i think it's a good spot for people to sit down if i have anyone coming to the office it's like a really comfy space for them these prints as well please excuse them but these prints are just here because these are some more Prints that I got that I am going to keep if I ever want to change something around or if I want to hang more prints, I can use these ones. The mirror as well. So when I try on samples or do fittings of things, I can just use this mirror right here and try it on super easily. I'm so glad I finally found a way to sort this room out. I was really struggling for a while and really unsure on how I wanted to set it up, but I'm actually really happy with this setup and I think it looks really good. I can't get over how much noise my silly washing machine is making, but I also wanted to show you guys, I did a massive food haul yesterday, but I'm just really proud of how stocked my fridge is. Um, I'm gonna have one of these right now. I went and got these yesterday at a, I went to a whole food market um, yesterday instead of my normal, I just normally go to Coles or something, but I thought I would spice it up and I went to like a whole food market and I think I'm actually going to start going there all the time now because I just got so much good stuff. I don't know. They had so much stuff. I probably had so much, um, what's it called? Impulse buy. But honestly, I was having a field day. So, um, I went and got these, I went and got these natural coconut water, like flavored flavored coconut water. I think I'm going to try the lychee one right now. Well, ignore the cruiser. First taste test. Can you guys hear that washing machine? I look like a bald egg right now. Disregard what I look like. I need a straw. Can't ever have funny egg. Wait, do I even have any straws? Oh, yeah. I need to buy some more metal straws. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. Wait, what? That is so good. Guys, if you want a really good, like, fresh, summery drink, try this. This is honestly unreal. I actually have to record my podcast in a hot second. Um, and then we are just working for the rest of the day. I've actually been doing a lot of online shopping, regrettably. If you guys are from Sydney, you would probably know, but we're starting to move towards going out of lockdown now, which is really, really exciting. Um, and I've been like prepping my summer wardrobe and like buying all these cute pieces for summer and I'm just getting so excited. I've actually been in lockdown for such a long time now and I feel like I've kind of adapted and get like adjusted and I'm like used to it. But talking with all my friends recently about getting out of lockdown, like booking places for summer, I'm just like, this is too much. I'm so excited. I'm rambling now. I'm going to go record my podcast. And I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, I just did a little bit of an unboxing, but I thought I would show you the vlog as well. So I just picked up some new things from Skims. If you guys watched my last vlog, you probably remember, but I ordered this really late at night. And I actually swear, I was half asleep when I ordered this. But anyways, so I got, I'll just read out the names. I got, maybe I should open these up first. Okay, I just took it out of the packet because I thought that would be easier. But we got a little tan nude set. I wish you guys could feel how soft this feels, honestly. This is the top. It's a little singlet tank top. Just thought that was really cute for like at home wear. And then I got a black version of the one that I had in the last vlog haul that I showed you guys. It's just in black. So comfy, so soft. And then what's this? This is a little, oh, these are shorts. These little boy, these little boy shorts. Cute. And then this is a little matching like bralette. So that's my little haul from Skims, my late night impulse lockdown purchase. And then I also got some makeup products from Refi. So this is for their summer skin collection, which I'm super excited to try. This is Jess Hunt's brand and she always has like the best makeup and looking skin. So hopefully <laughs> it can look half as good as that. So I'm excited and I'll let you guys know how I go with that. But yeah, it's my little haul of the day. Hey everyone, I'm about to head off for an afternoon run i still have my hair mask in lol <laughs> i just slicked my hair back in a bun this is my running fit for today i've just been i've been working for pretty much all of the day so i just really feel like getting out of the house i did do a really long walk this morning but i still have energy and i've just been sat at my desk the sun is starting to go down so i feel like it's 
a perfect time to go running right now. I prefer going for a run in the afternoons rather than the mornings, um, especially in the cold months. I don't know, I feel like the mornings is too cold for me and I just, I prefer walking in the morning and then running in the afternoon. Home from my run, everyone. I'm just having some dinner. So I'm just trying to balance you on my cat. Oh, strip. What's the day today? The six. I have to use my salmon tomorrow, okay? I am going to watch some Handmaid's Tale tonight. Sorry, you guys can't see me. I'm just um, getting some stuff out for dinner. But I don't think I've mentioned this in the vlog yet, but I started watching in Handmaid's Tale last week. I don't know if I mentioned this in the vlog, honestly. I can't even keep up with... It's really hard for me to remember what I talk about on the podcast on versus, like, my YouTube vlogs as well. Anyways, um... But I started watching The Handmaid's Tale and it is so good. Yeah, I'm up to season three, episode one. And it is just so good. It's really, really intense. If you guys haven't watched it, then definitely like prepare yourself. Um, and if you guys have watched it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when I say that it is a very intense TV show. On the podcast today, Caitlin and I were talking about how excited we are to be getting close to like the finish line of lockdown which is just so exciting So a little bit of my morning routine. I actually did a Pilates workout today as well as PT. And I actually, I don't know what came over me. I just had so much energy this morning, but I also walked to PT today, which was really nice. It's just at a local park with my personal trainer one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and yeah, it was a really beautiful morning. I just got a coffee on the way home. Um, it's actually pretty late right now. It's like 11 and I'm about to go do some emails while I have my coffee. And then we've got to do my exfoliating tanning routine today as well. But yeah, I feel so much better after moving my body, honestly. I feel like going for a run, I've just been moving my body so much recently in lockdown. Like I've really been ramping my um, amount of steps that I'm doing every day up and exercise. And I've noticed such a difference already in my energy levels. I don't know if it's because I'm getting excited for post lockdown. So now I'm feeling like really motivated again. But yeah, I'm feeling really good. So yeah, if you guys are also in lockdown, then I would definitely recommend to... Go get your body moving, reward yourself with a coffee afterwards. Lunchtime, I've decided I'm going to make a really big healthy salad for lunch today. So these are all the ingredients. Some of this baby salad leaves, cucumber, red onion, some avocado, cherry tomatoes. I'm also going to add in some beans as well. And then we've got Kalamata olives and also some feta cheese. And I think on top I'm going to add a little bit of balsamic vinegar and olive oil. I actually really want to get a really nice like vinaigrette salad dressing. I always just use balsamic vinegar and olive oil pretty much for all of my salads, but I think I actually wanna find another salad dressing that I love as well. I just added all of the ingredients and I'm about to add the olive oil and the balsamic, but look how good this salad looks. What have I been doing the past few years when I haven't even been interested in salads? I feel like I've been missing out. This is just heavenly. I just got home from the post office and I picked up a package and this is honestly the cutest package. It's from my friend Maddie. You guys have definitely heard of her before in my vlogs but she sent me this lockdown package which is just so sweet of her. A Pinot Noir which is my favorite type of wine, truffle oil, pasta, vodka pasta sauce and this little cute coffee table book as well honestly this is so sweet i'm so grateful to have such amazing friends i actually don't know what i did to deserve her in my life so so sweet and i'm just so touched right now also from the post office i picked up a another package which was from sir the label i got a few summary pieces because um we actually got the news today that um we're starting to head out of lockdown which is just so exciting i actually can't even comprehend not comprehend but i'm 
feeling like I just, I, I can't even remember what life was like before lockdown, but I'm so excited to get back to normal life and to go out and see my friends. So I've started to organize and prep my summer wardrobe. So these are some pieces from Sir the Label. We have this little crop top here. It's kind of like a corset style. It does have a little bit of, um, like hard fabric behind it so it's going to stay in place and then we have this really beautiful maxi linen skirt um and these are sold separately but i just bought them together as a set and it has this really nice like tie up detailing and then this dress you guys honestly have to see it on i bought this when i head back to noosa over christmas time fingers crossed to see my family um and i just thought this would look so nice in noosa but it's kind of hard to show on um the floor lol but it's this really beautiful like back black backless like cut out dress and it's a maxi piece it's such a beautiful fabric as well so i can't wait to wear these i'm just sitting here on my floor unboxing my deliveries um before i jump in the shower i'm still have not showered today which is disgusting. I'm so sorry, but um, I'm about to jump in the shower and do like my fake tan routine, my skincare routine, and then I actually have a long night of editing ahead as well because I've just been so preoccupied today. I feel like meetings have been popping up and things have been popping up on my to-do list. Clearly, I had a very <laughs> steamy shower, but but hi guys. I just got out of the shower. Obviously, I did like the proper long shower routine. I'm sure you guys can relate. Like exfoliate, shave, hair mask. Well, actually, tone hair hair mask wash hair cleanse my skin as well so i'm feeling so so fresh right now um but i'm about to put uh, another layer but i'm about to put another layer of tan on i'm just using my tanologist tan tonight this is the what is this self tan water in dark the express tan i actually ran out of the mousse the self tan mousse so i'm going to try out the water today i might make a tea before bed tonight as well just because i feel like i have heaps of energy again today i don't know what it is recently maybe it's like I mean, exercising more again and drinking really well and eating well, but my energy levels recently have just like picked right back up, which is just fab. So I feel like I've got so much energy right now, but I'm going to have a tea, try to relax, try to wind down um, after I do my tanning and skincare. Oh, I actually want to show you guys a new skincare tool that I got recently, which is really exciting. I've wanted one of these for so long. It's a gua sha. I think I'm saying that correctly. But yeah, I'm really, really excited to use that. I think I'll use it in the morning when I wake up tomorrow because I know it's like a massaging tool and it's meant to like stimulate blood flow and kind of wake you up a little bit. So that's not what I need right now. Definitely not looking like my most glamorous self right now, but <laughs> I just finished doing my tanning routine. I also did some skincare. I also put a fake tan, like gradual self tanner on and mixed in with my moisturizing cream. So hopefully I wake up tomorrow and I'm very bronzed, but I have my oversized comfy shirt on, fresh hair in a clip, and I and now I'm about to climb into bed. Um, you know all that stuff I was saying about me being super energized? Well, it's like 9 p.m. now, and I feel like I'm hitting a wall. But I'm going to finish this vlog off here. I hope you guys have enjoyed a kind of like day in my life sort of two day in my life <laughs> in lockdown vlog i love you guys all so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next youtube video